I wasted 10 years chasing courses and tutorials before I realized why I never felt confident. To all the junior and mid-level Android developers who think that they'll finally get confident once they read all the possible documentation, finish all the courses and the tutorials, even memorize all those APIs, you are wrong. I've been building Android apps for over 15 years and for the first 10 years, I never felt confident. I was drowning in tutorials. I was afraid of being exposed and I was terrified to even think about going to interviews. I thought once I know everything, I'll finally be ready. The truth? Confidence has little to do with how much you know. In this video, you learn that what's keeping you from confidence isn't lack of skills. And we'll do that by going over my core five confidence killer points. First things first, confidence is not the same as knowledge. There are endless tutorials, endless materials out there that you can go over and you can learn a lot and that's not gonna make you more confident. That's not going to help you grow in your career either because you can know a lot and still remain in the same position that you are currently. You see, senior engineers don't know everything either and they forget things just as everybody else. It's really not about all the details that you keep remembering. It's more about knowing conceptually what you are doing, where to look at and having trust in yourself that you can figure out the things. Next up, the skill versus the self-trust trap. Back in the days, I thought, once I learn X, then I will feel confident. Then another thing would come. Then another thing would come. And that's always the case with technology. And the problem is that people always jump from one to another, shiny objects, shiny things that come to the technology, rather than focusing on the fundamentals that are always something that is common, something that was seen before. And once you grasp those fundamentals, you will start to prove to yourself that you can handle the unknown. And that's where the real confidence comes from, when you will be able to prove to yourself, not to the others, that you can handle the unknown things. I'm sure you've been in a situation where you thought that you can figure out some things, but you constantly procrastinated to look into that because you don't need it right now, right? And that's what I'm trying to say here. When you can prove to yourself that you have the confidence to actually look into it and figure it out, that's the real confidence that you need that I'm talking about. Next up, Comparison kills confidence. Back in the days, I was checking GitHub a lot to see what all these people that I'm following are doing. I was also checking my LinkedIn and my Twitter accounts to see what's happening. And I certainly felt I'm behind a lot because I was seeing people writing blog posts, shipping libraries, speaking at conferences while I was fixing recycler view bugs, right? And the reality is that nobody is as polished as they look like. It's just that people take the courage to share what they are learning and to expose themselves. And because I didn't have the courage to share what I'm learning, to share what I know and what I'm experiencing, I was constantly thinking that others know better, others are accepted better. And that comparison is what kept me behind not the actual skills or the knowledge. And so the lesson that I learned was instead of comparing with others, compare only with my own self from the previous day and from the days before and see how am I improving myself. And that is how I started getting more and more confident. I realized that my growth is my responsibility and I am in charge of it, not somebody else. The next point we are going to cover is silence and isolation. Back in the days, I also avoided asking questions and I thought that I know everything and sometimes I even pretended that I know everything. And I'm sure that you've been in that similar situation as well, when you pretend that you know everything or you feel like you can do everything. And that single thing that feels very small and unimportant is one of the biggest problems for gaining confidence. Why? Because you avoid getting feedback. Now, feedback is one of the essential points when it comes to getting more confident. And the shorter the feedback loop that you can establish with somebody, the better, because you grow much faster out of the mistakes that you are making. The only thing there is to embrace the feedback coming and you should actually open up to get more feedback. One of the best ways to establish short feedback loops is to find a mentor or to join a community of like-minded people, which is something you can do by following the link below this video. Now, without a community or a mentor, you can still build skills, but getting confident is gonna take you way longer time. And the last point we're gonna cover here is the myth of the perfect engineer. Yet another belief that I had when I was at the beginning of my career was that I will get confident when I'll stop making mistakes. However, the reality is that confidence comes from admitting those mistakes and the ability to recover fast from them. And while I thought that the confidence will come after 10 more courses and being 100% wrong about it, it came after I started leading meetings while being completely uncomfortable about it. It came after I started leading teams and being terrified about it and the realization that nobody actually cared if I messed up 
as long as I was able to recover from those mistakes. So to wrap this up, why you lack confidence is not the skills, it's the isolation, it's the comparison, and it's the lie that confidence comes after perfection. Confidence never arrives later. You build it while you are scared. If you need help into building confidence and growing your Android development career, find a link below this video and let's talk.